Welcome to Coding with Kids. My name is Kalia. And mine is Andrew. Today we're going to teach you JavaScript. So today we're going to learn about the const keyword. So always use the const unless you know that the variable is going to change. So first we have doc type HTML, then we have HTML tag, and in the head we have a title which is hello world. And in the body we have a head too, which is JavaScript const. And const is basically constant. It was released in East s6 and it cannot be redeclared reassigned it as black scope so then in the paragraph we have id equals to message then we have script tag which allows us to write javascript inside html so first here we have const message equals hello then we're going to do message equals by so we're going to try to reassign it from hello to by okay so i opened it in my default browser Google Chrome so there's the hello world title and there's the head to JavaScript const and here it says uncaught type error assignment to constant variable so we cannot reassign it so here next we're going to do const message equals world I mean equals hello then message equals message plus world so we're trying to add world into our const message so if it works, the value will be hello world. So I'm going to save it. And run. Okay, so there's the uncaught uh, type error assignment to constant constant variable. So this also doesn't work. Okay, now I'm going to try const message. And then message equals hello. So I'm going to try to declare the const without a value. So here there's no value. There's only const message. Then after that, we're going to try to add a value, which is hello. So we're going to do message equals hello. I'm going to save it. And there's uncaught syntax error, missing initializer on const declaration. So this also doesn't work. Okay. Next here, we have const message equals hello. So now we're going to assign a, a value to the const when declaring it. Then we're gonna do document dot get element by id message dot inner html equals message. So we're gonna link it to the paragraph because here it tries to get HTML element with the id message and that's the paragraph. So link to the paragraph and print and the paragraph will have the value of me the message. So now I'm gonna go here. Okay, so there's hello because it work it works. Okay. Next here we have a constant array. There's const city equals New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles. Then we're going to try to do cities equals Paris, Tokyo, and London. So we're changing the whole thing completely. Okay, so here there's an uncut type error assignment to constant value. So there's that bug again. So we cannot do this. Then here we have const cities equals New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles again. Then using constant arrays, you can change an element of it, but not the whole thing. There's cities zero equals Boston. So we're adding Boston in front of all of this New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles because arrays start with the index zero. So the first item will be zero, second one, so yeah. Then we we'll put Boston in the list. So that hopefully will work. Then we're gonna do cities dot push San Francisco. So we'll go to the end here. And we're trying to add San Francisco to the end and Boston to the front. Then we're gonna do document dot get element by ID message dot inner HTML. So we're gonna link to the paragraph again. And we're gonna try to get the cities index zero. So that will be Boston if it works. Save it and go here. Okay, so it's Boston, so it worked. Okay. Next, we're in here we're going to make a constant object. So there's const phone equals brand, Apple, model, iPhone 13, and color black. Then we're trying to do phone equals brand, Google, model, pixel, color red. So we're changing everything completely. Again, we're going to try the same with the objects instead of the arrays okay so now okay so there's uncaught type error assignment to constant that variable so here it also doesn't work so next 
here we have we have const phone so this is a constant object equals brand apple model iphone 13 and color black and then we have phone dot model equals iphone 13 pro max so we're changing from iphone 13 to iphone 13 pro max so it's the same with arrays and objects you can change elements not the whole thing then we're going to try to add phone dot owner equals andrew so we're going to add owner equals andrew which is me then we have document dot get element by id message the inner html so the link to the paragraph again so it'll be andrew owns phone model which is iphone 13 pro max andrew has iphone 13 pro max okay. how about me how about yeah. me it says andrew owns iphone 13 pro max so that is what we expected to see okay and next we const has block scope so we're going to do const message equals hello then we're going to do in the block or block scope with curly brackets const message equals buy so we're going to try to change it from hello to buy well we're going to see which one document dot get element by id message so we're going to link to the paragraph again and we're going to see if it's buy or hello so we're going to save it and we're going to so it ha has hello because it has block scope, so this doesn't do anything because, yeah, okay. <laughs> Next, we are going to try to do const message equals hello. So we're going to try to do redeclare. So here first, we're just going to do message equals hello without const. This will not work because we don't have a const keyword and you can't redeclare const. The there, we're going to try the there keyword message equals hello with there. That won't work, like all of these won't work. Then we're going to try let keyword message equals hello with let and const message equals hello again. So we're going to try all of these. Uh, I don't think they will work. Okay. So it says uncaught syntax error. Identifier message has already been declared. So it doesn't work. Then here we're going to try it in a block. So we have the same thing, and we're going to see if it works in the block. Okay. So it has the same bug that says identifier message has already been declared. So you can't do that in a block scope too, but you can do const message equals by if you do it in a different block scope, which is a different set of curly brackets. And then finally, here we're going to do document dot get element by id message dot inner html equals phone. So we're going to try to link to the paragraph and get the value of phone, the const phone, before it is declared. It is declared. So after that, we're going to do const phone equals iPhone. So we need, like reverse the order. So we're going to see if that works. So here it says uncaught reference error cannot access phone before initialization because we did not declare it. We need to declare it before we run it or use it. Well, that was fun, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to smash the like button and subscribe. Bye-bye.